Hey everybody, it's Blue Turd and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Wii. Last time we did the Star Cup on 50cc and this time we're going to do the Special Cup on 50cc. And this time we've also unlocked uh, King Boo, which has set off a bit of a different where a chain reaction with this character select screen because there are now question marks on this board where there were not before. So, uh, I'm going to play as Koopa Trooper because that's who I enjoyed playing as on the Super Mario Kart. And let's use the concerto. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how you're meant to say it, right? I'm I'm hoping. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's go 50cc on the special cup. Here we go. Starting off with dry dry ruins. Here we go. Go! And it got a boost. That's very nice. Okay. Just dodge all the pokies. Ow. Oh! Super boost thing. Gold mushroom. Or royal mushroom. I'm not sure what it's called. Okay. I really like this level, it's got some cool themes to it, and also the music changes when you go in here. Oh my goodness, turned everywhere, apparently. Gotta drop that there. I really like this level because it changes as you go through it as well. I really like the levels that do that. Anyway, uh oh. Do that, and I'm safe from everything forever, except for the ink, apparently. That's fine. It's gonna go away soon. And it's gone. Okay. Got a red shell, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure you can also destroy these pokies if you shoot them with an item. But I shouldn't need to do that. And anyway, so some of these pillars have started falling down as well on the track, which you can use as extra boosts. So I'm going to try and use those if possible. Uh oh, shake, 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 shake. Nice. Okay. Everything's fine. Hey, my block's still there. Also, this has started being filled with sand a lot faster now. or It's a lot more full of sand now. I know what I'm saying. Let's just jump out of there. Nice Yoshi Sphinx. Okay. Just gonna drop that there and that there. All these pillars have fallen down. I didn't even get to see them fall. Oh, he just. That Pokey just got zapped by the lightning! Oh, red shells, why do you have to target so well? Go, 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 go. I just wanna win. I might want to actually get an item, although I think I'm going to get some when I get into this temple thing. So let's grab one of those, dodge the thing, also turn there. Okay, I have, a, I have a banana. This is a lot more full of sand just on the main area. Wow. And that's completely filled with sand. It went from like a tiny bit of sand to like a little bit of sand, and then just full of sand. Anyway, we're about to finish this first race, a whole way ahead of everyone. There we go. All the red shells were coming at me as well. It's a good thing I got to the end before they could do anything about it. Anyway, next race. Moon View Highway. Which I really like because it has, uh, it has bombs on the road. Like, literally, li literally, there's, there's bombs on the road. But they're, they're not, not in the way you're thinking. Possibly, unless you've seen this before. Okay. It's a bit like Toad's Turnpike, with, uh, all the cars going 
on the road, except they go in both directions instead of just one. And this. Now, if I can find one of the bombs I was referring to, there's one! They're literally just cars just driving on the road, which are bombs. If you drive into them, they explode with an area of effect radius, I guess, of explosion. So just, just dodge that as, if possible. Highly recommended don't blow up. Oh my goodness, this level is such a cool level. I'm gonna go over this way. I like how you have to dodge the traffic, which is also going... Oh, different speeds! I just got run over by a car. That was very surprising to me just now. Anyway, I want to actually do a few different things this time. Mainly, I want to go up the side here. Oh, I got I got blown up. And I'm about to get run over. Okay, I want to go up here. Because there's another area up here which you can possibly get an item from. Also, don't be on the other side of the road. Be in the middle of the road or on the, the left, I guess. Which is actually kind of interesting because people drive on different sides of the roads depending on where you go in the world, but I don't think it changes in Mario Kart, unless it does. And it's a very subtle thing, but I don't know. Not that it would ma matter anyway. The level's designed as it is and it doesn't need to be changed. Oh, don't! Oh my goodness, that was completely my fault. I wanted to boost. The, the boosts are very tempting. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take this, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna drop that there. Item. Okay, final lap. Here we go. I think this would be a really co good HD level. Oh, don't run into things. I am I am playing really bad considering this is uh, 50cc. Also, I'm pretty sure you can throw shells into the bombs and they explode. Which might be, like, they're very rare to do. But very helpful, possibly. I don't know. It's very unlikely, so... Anyway. Let's just keep going. And hopefully get some nice boosts here. Here we go! Gotta go fast! And not get run over. Okay. i grab that, I guess, just in case I need it. Okay, we're almost there. All the cars are gone. I think there are like a few places where there's just brakes in traffic. All the traffic is kind of in one area. But anyway, that's the end of that track, I guess. Let's keep going. Bowser's Castle, the third race. Also, oh my goodness. The moving things in this level. This is actually a good level that we've seen. It's kind of a remake in Mario Kart 8. Except it's also very different, but it's similar. Just like the uh, Dry Dry Desert, actually. I'm pretty sure that's a level in Mario Kart 8, but it's different. This is also similar to the ghost house in Mario Kart 8. Oh my goodness. There's a thwomp. I'm gonna dodge that. Not today, thwomp. Oh my goodness. Okay. Gonna dodge Bowser's fireballs. Oh my goodness, that nearly went badly. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Split path. I really like how this kind of matches the uh, the Mario Bros. games that came out at the time of this as well. It fits well into whole, that whole thing. Uh-oh. I think I'm getting... I think they're like really close behind me now. I need to hurry up. Oh, I can hear them. I can hear them. Go faster. I need to not lose. We've also got this here, which you can actually use these as boosts as well. Stylish, stylish, stylish. Stylish like um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That's basically what the tricks are in this game. 
It's just the stylish from Paper Mario 1000 Door. Okay, I've got a string of bananas. Oh, and then they're gone. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to using them to dodge shells. And by dodge, I mean just shield them. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. I have a banana, and I'm not afraid to use it. There we go. Like that. And then, like this. And I guess I'm going to go this way. I have so much control over where I turn in this game for some reason. That's very unusual. Okay. Also, this kind of feels a bit like Super Mario Galaxy's um, Bowser's Castles. Or Super Mario Galaxy 2's Bowser's Castles. They're both the same game anyway. Basically. Or, um... Yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of a a better way to look at the games because although they are different games they're very similar and they if you if you look at them as an extent if, if you look at Mario Galaxy 2 as an extension of Mario Galaxy 1 it's pretty good it's a it's a lot better than just oh here's the same game again except yeah that's an argument that people have had before I'm pretty sure but it's good to look at some games as the same game sometimes. Okay. Getting very close to the end of this now. Okay, and I believe the next level is going to be uh, a fun one, probably. It's going to be one I enjoy, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's, I'm thinking of a different cup entirely, which is always possible. Okay, I have a fairly good lead at the moment, but I that I don't want it to go away too quickly. Okay, here we are at the end. Oh, lava! I got lavered. I lavered myself. There we go. And now, all that's left is Rainbow Road. It's where you go when you die. I love this Rainbow Road. I love Mario Kart Wii's Mar Rainbow Road. I love all the Rainbow Roads actually, except for when I'm playing them on the SNES. Playing them on like Deluxe and the other consoles. Oh, bad start. Well, this is gonna this is gonna show good things to come from this level, especially with all of the chances to fall off the edge. Okay, here we go. I might have a bit more trouble with the AI in this one because I'm actually gonna be seeing them. Oh, come on! Here we go. Welcome to Shake We Remote the level. Gonna drop that there. And now I mentioned at some point that cannons come in different shapes and sizes. So uh, this is one, which is a launch star, which is really cool. Wait, does that mean this came before or after Mario Galaxy? I don't know actually. Anyway, I guess it came after because there are star bits as well, I guess. That makes sense. There's a lot of star bits actually. Oh my goodness. I like star bits though, they look cool. Anyway, we're almost at the end of the track, and ready for lap two. There's so much of the level you can see at once as well. You can see part of the level up there in the sky. Uh oh, I can't see where I'm driving. I'm gonna drop that and send it backwards. Make someone have a fun day. And just dash through all of this. Okay. This is such a great level, and I love the music as well. I should be silent for the music. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, go faster. Also, I'm pretty sure there's possibility that by not falling off any edges is how you get three stars, possibly. Just a theory, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna drop that there since it's not gonna help me otherwise. That's a goal. Oh my goodness, everything is trying to stop me from winning this. Come on, go faster. I guess, does Mario Kart 8 not have the edges that you can do the tricks off of? Maybe that's why we haven't had many Mario Kart weed levels in, in future games. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Shake, 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 shake. You could probably jump over these holes, but I probably don't want to do that. It might end really badly for me. Oh, don't bump, bump off the edge again. Another theory I had about what gives you three stars is the time that you get in each, in each level. It was a good thing I was in that cannon at the time, or well, that launch star, because I was nearly struck by lightning. In space. I was nearly struck by lightning in space. Okay, here we go. Final stretch. Oh my goodness, final stretch. It's a good thing there's a slight bit of um, anti-gravity in this level. There we go. Let's finish this. There we go. Congratulations! Two stars, okay. Well anyway, that is it for this episode of Mario Kart Wii, but we've also got Baby Daisy now. So thank you all for watching. Oh my goodness. Large Kart the Piranha Prowler. Gonna have to play that in a few episodes probably. Or next episode. So thank you all for watching. Okay, nothing interrupted me, we'll be fine. And I'll see you guys next time.